Okay, we already talked about this before, uh, but as we know, everyone is uh, looking into the submarine situation. Uh, last we heard, uh, they're hearing third, they're hearing knocking sounds in 30-minute intervals. Obviously, they're hearing this through a device. Uh, they have not pinpointed the exact location just yet. However, an aircraft has spotted a white rectangular item in the ocean near the Titanic shipwreck location. Uh, the interesting part about that is they have yet to investigate what they think they're seeing because they have they don't have enough people. The people that they have are too busy checking on the audio that they're hearing. Uh, it would behoove them to get some of those people or to get somebody to go check out what they think they may see. Because I know you guys are excited about this cool device and it's able to hear these knocking sounds. But right now they are less than 22 hours at the time that I'm recording of oxygen available. Which means no matter what time you're hearing this. By tomorrow morning, Thursday, if they have not been discovered, we may be having a different type of conversation here. Uh, also, this is not news. This is just an assumption. I am sure, and I'm sure y'all can agree with me, Hulu is getting their cameras out and getting ready to drop. <laughs> <laughs> probably try to drop a documentary on us to, uh, by next week. Hopefully they don't, but we know that they live that tasteless life, so... I wouldn't be shocked if a documentary comes out of this. My goodness. Hope all goes well. Shoot, for all we know, this may be an act that Hulu uh, set up for us. But that's just my controversial brain uh, giving me that information. But anyway, also while we're talking about this submarine, there was an interview with the CEO of the submarine company. Uh, he released that this submarine is operated using a Logitech 2999 gaming controller from Amazon. Uh, after he noticed in the interview that this was alarming, he then informed that the most important parts are developed by NASA uh, and Boeing, uh, you know those airplane people, uh, and companies of that nature. I don't care if you give me a Lambo and tell me to drive it with a Sega controller, I'm gonna be alarmed. In 2018, the Navy released that they use Xbox controllers for submarines. The U.S. Army has even, uh, they got laser cannons that are operated by Xbox controllers. And bomb technicians are also familiar with this method as well. So they give that information probably just to make you say, okay, this happens. But let me tell you, I just use the Xbox controller to play the game and I don't feel safe already. And I'm at the house. So I don't know uh, why you think this, <laughs> an expensive equipment like that, I know there's got to be a different way than to plug up an Xbox controller that you probably got to make sure it's charged and you got to unpause it before we depart. You know what? I know I don't supposed to be up there, but next time I take a plane, I need to get up in the front. I, I need to see what's up there. I know y'all got all these fancy buttons. Y'all probably tricking me. Y'all probably close that door. Give me that speech about if we crash and etc. And then you go and get your little Xbox controller out and then you take me to Atlanta. This is alarming. I know Spirit Airlines probably doing that. <laughs> so in other news, your girl, the great Madonna. She want to make sure that she remains looking like a virgin uh, because she made her 29 year old boyfriend sign that good old NDA uh, he, has, he had to sign an NDA I'm sure he didn't like it but first off men I need y'all to have that same pressure when we be trying to make them sign the prenup and they say I just you know you're just making me feel like you don't trust me we always crack and we say okay honey it's okay you don't gotta sign it and then the next thing you know, nothing against that, but next thing you know, you're a barista at Starbucks because the house, she got that motherfucker. The car, she got that motherfucker. And what do you have? A green apron asking how many pumps of cream do you like today? Because that's how it ends up. Madonna didn't go out like no biatch. She made him sign it. He signed the NDA. To proceed with their relationship, he cannot speak about their sexual encounters. I'm sure they're doing some naughty things. She said, you know what? Mind your business. Don't tell people what happens when we remove our britches. And when I show my smushy looking BBL 
that California raisin appeal. I need you to respect that California raisin and let me shake these wrinkles upon you. And you can't tell nobody how it go down. But the only thing about that is we do know NDAs mean nothing today. Uh, I'm sure she could take legal action against them once their relationship, you know, runs its course. And once that's over, he will be starting a podcast and uh, open and writing a book about his tell all about his experience with Madonna. I don't write the rules. This is just how it goes. Ah, so check this shit out. We just talked about this. We just talked about this and this came right across my eyes right now. According to new legal documents exclusively obtained by the blast, an order was put in place by an L.A. County court in regard to the former couple, uh, Scotty Pippen and Larsa Pippen. So looking here, she's going to get half of what was accrued in his 401k from the Chicago Bulls. That's right, half. And she's going to help spend it with the gentleman that was born while he was uh, passing alley-oops uh, to a gentleman that had his tongue out flying through the sky only to slam dunk. And as it fell right into that goal, he went home, tore a young lady up, gave her that Chicago Bull Peter and helped to birth a gentleman that will come out into this world and take your bitch and make you pay for it. Y'all sit back and think about that. If you're a brethren like me or a sister, you're probably familiar with the term code switching. Uh, even if you're not a brethren or a sister, you're probably familiar with the term code switching. We all have the same World Wide Web, and I'm sure you're familiar with that term at some point. You've heard it. Um, well, it's interesting because the reason we're bringing it up at one point, there was code switching in the office place. Now we have region switching. That's right. Not only do you have to show that professional voice, you got to show them that you're not from the South. Now, I, I thought boys was talking dying. Well, we've got diamonds in our mouth. No, because you cannot come up in there and chunk up the deuce for the North and the South. You just got to chunk it up for the for the North, apparently, uh, because this is right. Uh, a study was made at the Chicago, the University of Chicago, and they are saying with this study that people who have Southern accents make less money. But not only do they make less money, they make up to 20 percent less money. So that's how you get, you know what? Matter of fact, you wouldn't believe it. My black ass from Mississippi, you know what I'm saying? But I had to keep, you know, I don't want y'all to not let me keep this job, you know what I'm saying? But uh, 20% less money is uh, is what's taking place with Southern accents. Take the gold grills off. Uh, don't show up with your overalls on. Don't let them know that you're barefoot and at the interview, do not inform them that you had sweet potatoes on the way there uh, because they're going to have a clue and know that you're from the South and they might try to pay you accordingly. Word to the wise. Uh, so peep this out. This uh, <laughs> um, owners of a restaurant in Sacramento have been ordered to pay one hundred and forty thousand in back pay and damages to its thirty five employees after a recent investigation now you may wonder damn that's a steep uh, fee they have to pay what is it that this restaurant could have done did they not give them their cheeseburgers for lunch break did they not give them that family discount that they needed did they not help them out with the promo code on letting their family sit down and enjoy themselves some of those good old french fries that they may have there oh no they didn't do this. They said, you know what? Team, gather around. You guys look like you've been really stressed out. We've been busy this season. So we're going to go ahead and I see we're a religious team. We're going to have a priest come in and we're going to let you guys sit down and talk to him and make your confessions. You guys got so much pain on you right now because you've got those work related sins. We want you to confess to him your work related sins. And I'm sure Billy Bob sat down with the priest and said, you know what? Sometimes I take money out the cash register. He said, Ooh, tell me more. Uh, you know that new girl you hired? Well, we've been screwing at lunch break. Oh, okay. What else? And you know that other time when uh, 
when you said they didn't send the shipment of chicken wings, I took them to the house. Well, you know what? Turns out the priest was fake. That's right. They hired a fake priest to have everybody make their work related sins and confess. I wouldn't have been confessing shit to be, you know, just to be honest. Cause I, you know, you don't bring me, have me tell you stuff that potentially could go wrong. I know the priest, you know, not supposed to tell, but look how it turned out. He wasn't a real priest. I'm sure he told him some nasty tea that made them want to take action against the employees. Now, the article did not inform me that they took action against the employees, but I'm sure they heard some things that made them want to let people go, made them want to write people up, made them find out why some people was calling in because they wanted to go holler at the girl that they met at the club last night because she just worked too good for them. And now they said, so that's why you called in, you coughing and all that, all that bullshit. You met a girl at the club last night and you wanted to see it, what that lime green juice drain do. Well, guess what? You can't take action against these people because you got a fake priest here. And matter of fact, y'all not sounding too religious to me right now either. <sighs> I I kind of feel like they almost should close this place because I can't see it going too many good places from here. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Are y'all having a good old day? Sit your butt down. Relax somewhere. Turn the video game on, but don't drive a submarine with it. Have a blessed one.